for the first time, we are actually having a marine research facility right here at the port near the port of Churchill. Tuesday marks the grand opening of the Churchill Marine Observatory, a state of the art facility that will enhance Manitoba and Canada's position as a world leader in Arctic research. The Churchill Marine Observatory is a first of its kind research hub dedicated to detection, impact and mitigation of oil spills while also studying the best ways to support Arctic marine transportation and adaptation to climate change. We're here to do the research to understand the system and be prepared for those possible changes moving forward. The facility, which costs $45 million, has been in the works for a long time and was started by Dr. David Barber. Unfortunately, we lost uh, uh, Dr. Barber recently and we're going to honour him today with a plaque here at, at the centre. The CMO's research infrastructure includes three core components. The Ocean Sea Ice Mesocosm, which incorporates outdoor pools used for controlled experiments of oil spills. The Environmental Observing System is a series of taut line moorings located along the main shipping channel across Hudson Bay, providing a monitoring system for studies in the Arctic's environment. And the research vessel William Kennedy will perform Arctic science research expeditions. By combining all the three together, it will provide us unprecedented opportunities, research platform to understand the rapidly changing Hudson Bay and associated with the social economic development. By 2100, the projection is there will be no ice at all year round in Hudson Bay, which Wang says is a major change for the high Arctic. The potential is there to see marine shipping through Hudson Bay ex significantly extended. And so that, of course, will have enormous economic benefits, social economic prosperity, reducing cost of resupply and so on, and also strengthen uh, the regional and global supply chain. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.